Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammack from the Marble Drawer Channel, and in today's video I'll show you what I keep in my minivan. So I happen to love my minivan. It is super practical and convenient for a family with active kids and numerous carpools. I have friends who disdain the very concept of a minivan, but I have news for them. Just because you are driving an SUV instead of a minivan does not somehow prevent you from still being a suburban soccer mom. Anyway, I'm assuming that I am preaching to the choir here. Other than my house, my minivan is where I spend most of my time, so that makes it a highly personal space, and as such, the contents are based entirely on what is currently going on in my life. The things in my minivan looked a lot different when I had teeny tiny kids, but now it is the van for a family with sports-oriented teenagers, so keep this in mind as I talk about the contents. I have a 2015 Honda Odyssey. A little while ago, I went on YouTube to find out how people used all the different organizational spaces in a similar van, but I didn't find much, so I thought I would show you what I do. So I'm gonna start at the front of the van and work my way to the back. Uh, on the driver's side door. So these have to be things that I use all the time since this is the most accessible storage spot for me as the driver. We have gum, mints, pens, nail implements for pesky hang, hang, hang nails, a teeny tiny umbrella, and tissues. So down here I keep disinfected wipes, hand lotion, face and spray sunscreen, bug spray, shopping bags that are bound together by a rubber band, and a grocery bag for wine bottles. On the passenger side door, um, I keep an extra faux leather bag, some dog stuff like a dog leash, some bags, and a collapsible bowl, um, hand sanitizer, and thousands of Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. You know these never expire, right? So I use rubber bands to bind things together so that they take up less, less room. In the middle, I have two different uh, phone holders. One that is magnetic, that fits into my CD player, and one that is spring-loaded and then mounted to the wind windshield. So why do I have two? So this one here, I use immediately when I get into the car just to put my phone down. But it's not super convenient if I'm following it for directions since it is positioned kind of low for my uh, line of sight. When I need to use my phone for directions, I use the windshield-mounted one. Um, but that one is too hard to get my phone into one-handed to use every day. My van also has this odd cooler drawer down here in the middle also. I never use this for cooling things. Instead, I put this collapsible trash bin in there and I use it to store trash. Then every time I stop to get gas, I empty out this little bin and then I stuff it back in here. Center console. Okay, so like all center consoles, this is a big cavernous space that I felt like I needed to break up to make it a little bit more useful. I use these store brand food containers because they are the perfect size to make three compartments. Plus, I have a little extra room on the side. So here's what I put in here. In the compartment in the very, very back, which is hard to get to, I keep extra small tissue packs. That way I can easily replenish my supply up in the driver's door. The second one contains gum and mints for the same reason. We go through a ton of these, so I need the extras to be easily accessible. And the third container is kind of like a drunk drawer, drawer. I keep miscellaneous things like Tums, Advil, hairbands, Windex wipes, plastic silverware, a bug bite stick, a stain stick, a collapsible cup, a knife, a pair of scissors, just a bunch of random stuff. I like it all possible to store things standing up or so that, so that I can see immediately what's available rather than, rather than having to dig through a bunch of things. So on the sides I keep writing implements, a notebook, extra napkins, uh, Windex for the windshield, cough drops, and sunflower seeds. If you don't know how good sunflower seeds are at keeping you awake while driving, then you should definitely watch my video on that. Glove compartment. I don't keep as much in the glove box since it's a little hard for me to reach. I keep the manuals that Honda provided, um, an extra auxiliary cord, and any of the other kind of various electronic um, devices, um, tire pressure gauges, and a white glove since I don't like the black grime that ends up on my fingers when I check the tires, two Swiss Army knives, I have a bit of an obsession with useful tools, and a variety of things for motion sickness, which a couple people in my family suffer for, from wristbands, ginger hard candies, and some Dramamine tablets. 
So that accounts for all the storage areas in the front seat of my car. In the body of the car, I only store a full-size umbrella in the drink holder just behind the driver's seat. So let's move on to the trunk. There are these two compartments on the left-hand side. On the upper one, um, I just have a Ziploc bag full of Kind bars, which don't melt in the heat and seem to last a little longer than other granola bars. On the lower compartment, I have an ice scraper, a first aid kit, which also happens to contain a compass, two pairs of binoculars for sporting events and bird watching, and two water bottles just in case. So in the trunk, I have this great collapsible crate, which I got at Costco. It fits perfectly in the well of my trunk, even when two of the second row seats are down. Again, I like to store things standing straight up when possible. So in here, I keep two camp chairs, a yoga mat, two folded blankets, um, some grocery bags, including some that insulate for freezer storage, a set of jumper cables, and a bag with a bunch of card games and activities to do with my kids at restaurants. On the side, I have two stadium seats and I have another collapsible container, which I also got at Costco. So this one is great for carrying things and for storing stuff for projects and trips. For example, I just helped out with senior night for boys tennis at the high school. And this is perfect for hauling hot dog buns, signs, chips, and other sundries to the courts. All of this is not very exciting, but I will definitely try to find links for each of the products that I use for organization. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.